What's up everybody, Nick here with TACFORM. To all the truckers out there looking for a solid phone mount built to handle the nastiest of roads, gaping potholes, and engine vibration, look no further. I'll start with a quick compatibility once over, then a deep dive into each component, outlining what really makes this product stand out from the rest. This CNC machined aluminum spring-loaded phone cradle will hold just about anything out there. This mount is paired with a seven inch long, all metal, indestructible arm, and a true 3.5 inch diameter suction cup with replaceable suction pads. This mount is engineered to last a lifetime and I'll explain what I mean by true 3.5 inch diameter here shortly. This is our Enduro 20 Lite. This is not in any way light, it's just light in comparison to our Max Cradle that's designed for motorcycle and extreme off-road use. It's the perfect size and here's what I mean by that. We're starting to see manufacturers making small holders for small phones and large holders for large phones. However, there is a sweet spot and we nailed it. Why is that important? Well, you may have a smaller phone now, but you never know what you're going to be carrying around next year. To put this into perspective, the 20 Lite will hold just about anything out there, from smaller devices like the iPhone mini to larger phones like the iPhone Max, even with large OtterBox Defender cases. Same with Samsung. It will work with the smallest to the largest devices. Unfortunately, this does not include the flip phones. We see a lot of mounts out there where the rubber grips are peeling off the cradle as a result of the heat. With the 20 Lite, you'll never have to worry about this. You'll also notice this octagon grip design. What it does is push the phone away from the back of the cradle. The phone case you have can obviously affect this feature, but metal phone cradles like seatbelt buckles can get very hot in the sun. This is one of the only, if not the only cradles we've seen that effectively create an intentional gap between the phone and the phone cradle. TACFORM has a huge range of arm options in different lengths as well as materials, including carbon fiber, tubular aluminum, and cast aluminum. For commercial applications, we always recommend the cast aluminum, and here's why. Reason number one, the dovetails at the end of the middle arm segment are all one piece, compared to a carbon arm where we have to glue and screw the dovetail into the end, which in rare cases, under just the right conditions, can fail, while the cast aluminum arm never fails. Reason number two, this arm has a locking elbow mechanism that makes it incredibly convenient when getting the product positioned exactly where you'd like. Another feature is the ability to increase and decrease the overall arm length, as you can see here. Lastly, you'll notice two independent articulating sockets that can lock firmly into place with little or no chance of slippage. Here is our 20 series suction cup mounting base. 20 series simply means it's compatible with all of our 20 millimeter ball and socket parts. There are lots of different suction designs that work better or worse depending on the application. So what makes this suction cup great and why do we call it a true 3.5? Here you can see two three and a half inch diameter suction cups, both of which we sell. This is our SC1 and this is our SC2, but for commercial applications we always lean towards the SC1 model. Why? Well, not only is the suction cup three and a half inches in diameter, but so is the rigid housing, resulting in very little movement or flex when leverage is applied to it. We have a TACFORM Labs video dedicated to the comparison of these two parts, but you can rest assured that in this application, the SC1 is the way to go. Thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. I hope it helped answer any questions you have. If you do have additional questions, feel free to uh, mention them in the Q&A and we'll get back to you as soon as possible or you could contact our friendly support staff. Thanks again.